Hi there, I'm Daniel Houghton, and this is week eight of the Attack on the Town Hall Theater Miniature Diorama Project. Week eight is where I 3D print and glue and patch and prime the model so that it's ready for painting, so that it exists in the real tangible world for the very first time. 3D printing begins with a prep stage where you grapple with the annoying force of gravity by supporting your model with this roller coaster's worth of support cylinders until every low bit of the model stays connected to every other bit. And then you send the job to the printer, wait 40 hours, carefully remove the print without smashing it to bits, wash it for 60 minutes in isopropyl alcohol, bake it for two hours in an ultraviolet oven until the gelatinous resin is fully cured, then snip off those hundreds of support cylinders with an X-Acto blade like a mentally deranged squirrel shredding acorn husks, then repeat this process for the other 13 print jobs and you're done. Along the way, my good friend Joe Shine finished his lovely otter sculpture out of oil-based clay. So I loaded it onto my bike trailer and hauled it into the room with the 3D scanner, created a digital version of it that I could shrink down to tiny size and print it out along with everything else. My kids call this the coffee shop otter, because for them, the secret lab is a coffee shop where customers come to order delicious drinks, but when they get too close, the otter bites their heads off. Which got me thinking, the whole point of this ridiculous project is to make a thing that encourages kids, or the kid in each of us, to take a momentary vacation to fantasy land which is such an important place to spend time in at every stage of life, along with all of our real-world obligations. As each part came off the printer, I shaved off the imperfections and superglued the pieces together as best I could. But I found that, as cool as the printer is, it generates plenty of inconsistencies on the underside of parts, which meant that every glue-up left a distractingly visible seam that needed to be patched by hand with epoxy putty, blended into the print with a silicone color shaper brush, and then hidden away under a coat of gray primer. And on the detail front, check out the love that Hans Gowdy put into the weather vane at the top of the tower. It's a perfect example of how a small detail helps a big thing look big. I was thrilled to see Hans' delicate sculpture glue up without collapsing. Lastly, there is still a bit of time to contribute to this project. The secret lab needs computer terminals, a shelf full of beakers, three otter containment tanks of various sizes. So if you want to do some 3D modeling or know someone who does, please let me know. Next week, I'll start painting, and then it will be time to start saying goodbye. See you next week.